So, quick video on Hillstream loaches. If you look closely, I don't know if we can get the camera any closer, but you can see his little heart beating. They're absolutely stunning fish, beautiful. Um, I did a lot of research on the Hillstream loaches before I purchased them. Um, I bought three. They're quite expensive, 10 UK pounds each, but in the great scheme of things, it's not, not expensive. Expensive for a, a nano fish maybe, but these are just gorgeous. Um, I'll show some more footage of the other two. Um, one's quite shy, one's spends a lot of time on the boulders, and the other one spends a lot of time in the flow. So I want to talk about what I found out about the Hillstream loaches. Um, in in an ideal environment, they are kept between 20 and 24 degrees Celsius. Um, mine are kept at 25, just because I've seen a lot of research where a lot of keepers and breeders have had success and I was on one guy's YouTube video and he said he'd had them over a year and they were fine um, at, at 25.5 degrees, 26 degrees I think he had them at so I've got mine at 20, mine range from 24.5 to 25.5 so uh, it stabilises at 25 this tank and so they should, should be good um, now in warmer temperatures it said that they need more oxygen so I'll just zoom back and show you so this is my flow and um, from the spray bar the water hits the top of the water now I've lowered the water show you that. I've lowered the water um, not too much about three inches um, now I've done that, number one, to prevent them from climbing out, but they can still escape. They could probably climb, they could climb the entire length of this glass and jump out. There's no lid on this tank and I'll get to that in a minute. So I've lowered the water on the spray bar to produce oxygen um, also, um, just to produce oxygen. Uh, the, the, there's, there's a ripple on the surface. Now I've got a wave maker in there, that wave maker is not switched on. I will switch that wave maker on and it's not really usable uh, for my tank um, it's a nano 2000 um, and it is just absolutely wild so I will switch the wave maker on um, and show you that so that's the wave maker on um, you can see the plants now at the back Again, absolutely battered. I'll move to the top of the tank so you can see that. So you can see now the gush of water which is coming out of there. It's absolutely smashing the tank to bits. The fish, I would not imagine, are really liking that to be honest. Now the hill streams would. We can see all the fish in our going nuts. Um, I don't know, it's not. I'd say it was just too much um, for the tank. So I'll switch it back off. So I'll switch, I'll switch the wave maker off. Now I've actually got an order um, to remote control plugins so you 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 plug it in to the wall and then you plug your device in and it's on a remote control so you can turn it on and off so I can turn the wave maker on and off as required now I'll probably do this sometimes but I'll probably only do it to reduce aggression in my aquarium because I've got some Emperor Tetra in there and um, they can be a bit aggressive especially over this um, bushy area here 
that's like they, they choose bushy plants to spawn over and one gets quite aggressive so um, I'll put the wave maker on sometimes when his aggression when his aggression is high and all the fish are, 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 are climbing to the other side of the tank because of him I'll put the wave maker in and that stops aggression that's another good tip now regarding the oxygen levels in in the tank I did have a, an air stowed in there but it was making a hum I wrapped it in a tea towel and it was still making a hum every time I plugged it in so I took I took the uh, air stone out and bought the wave maker instead but it's just too powerful for this tank now I do catch one of the hill stream loaches uh, up here sometimes well he travels he travels the length of the tank and then stops there and, and enjoys the the way but not for long few minutes and then he's, he's back all over the glass so in an ideal situation yeah I would like um, a tank where I could probably make more powerful waves but um, they're not struggling for oxygen let's face it I've had fish struggling for oxygen before and we all know where they would be they would be at the surface of the water gasping for air so they're not I'm not saying don't get a wave maker get a wave maker but I'm saying it's the one I'd purchase too powerful for the tank um, I've had these three hill stream loaches in my tank without a lid I want to talk about that so what I did is I got see this I've used this uh, electrical silver masking tape as a guard for the light because I couldn't find a guard for this specific light and it was hurting my eyes now I use this to put on the lip of the tank and I put it all the way round now I can't have a lid on this tank really or I'm going to struggle because of my pipes and my wood sticking out of the tank so I'm really going to struggle to make a lid so I did a bit of research and what the internet told me was one guy said that one in twelve hillstream loaches within the first week will escape the tank so I had this all masking taped off with electrical tape secure uh, for one week or almost a week just to make sure and watch the behaviour of the hillstream loaches and no one escaped like the, the most I got is one of them sometimes and only one of them would come up to the flow the other two don't bother with the flow one mainly stays on that boulder there which is not there and the other one is a bit more reclusive uh, a bit more shyer so I named one boulder one flow and one shy so also what I did is I bought these um, Wio Nano black venom boulders here now that's the these are also black venom boulders these large ones uh, but now I've, I'm obviously allowing algae to grow on them for the hillstream loaches but I bought these because they do like to sit on smooth pebbles and it will also attract algae I've also bought a new CO2 diffuser um, I bought it from Pro Shrimp uh, and I ordered the wrong size I wanted to order the 35 centimeter one and like I thought I ordered the 25 centimeter one by mistake don't know how I did that uh, but if you look at the bubbles if you can see through the reflection they all sort of going downwards um, so there's not much I can do about that they are quite expensive diffusers but the diffuser is so much better if you look at my previous videos on the original diffuser that was bought with uh, my kit this is the bubbles are much smaller and there's so more of them but some of the plants have got holes in them so what I did is I bought some potassium flourish um, apparently they're lacking in potassium well you can see one there look see that leaf um, and yeah they are doing a lot better a lot better and for a slow growing plant this Godzilla is really taking off it's really taking off it's brilliant love the crypt in the background that crypt is older than this tank keep your water clean and healthy and look after your fish keep them well fed and my feed and pellets and wafers every day or every other day most days 
and there's algae I'm only cleaning the front of the glass at the minute I'm leaving algae on the sides and the back um, I may start cleaning the sides at some point but there's a bit of algae on the sides but it's not, not too bad yeah and I'm hoping there's going to be a good growth of algae here also um, the hillstream loaches um, if they do produce babies and fry um, this is somewhere for them to hide so they can reach a good size so the fish won't eat them just in underneath and in between these these boulders something else I found out although I do think I've got three males um, males have triangular heads and square I mean fins but for the sake of argument we'll call them shoulders so his shoulders are square and he's got a pointed head um, females are more rounded it's more of a rounded contour um, but you can see there look triangle head and then two shoulders underneath where the fins are like shoulder blades if you like no they're not oh. but yeah so yeah I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to say well, well we'll see how this goes but I'm going to keep them at I think it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius, uh, uh, medium flow. Let's say I'm not. I'm not going to go mad on the flow. Um, only one of them sits in the flow, to be fair. And yeah, and I've not kept a lid on them, and been in there a week. And I'll just update and just you know, uh, one guy said he had his in in a, he's had his for over a year. Oh, there's another one there. Look. Can you see him down there? Can you just see him on the glass. But yeah. So see how it goes. I'm, I'm hoping to encourage other people to buy Hillstream loaches. Um, and you can keep them at 78 degrees, hopefully. You can keep medium flow. This is just an awaze. But I brought the water level down to it just to produce more flow. Um, yeah, and then I'm not keeping a lid because I've never had a lid on it. The only time fish have jumped out of my tank is when I bought a new fish, didn't quarantine it, and it came with a uh, white spot ick, and he gave it to everybody else, and three or four fish jumped out, <clears throat> and that, that's what you're going to get if you're not careful or not responsible. Fish will jump out because your water parameters are, are not likable. We'll try and get some shots of them on the boulders. Like this, make it pop like this, make it not 